Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a scraped painting with some very cheap uh, materials. So materials that I actually got from Walmart, hey, Walmart that you can get from a local, you know, department store or a local craft store and spend like t less than $20 to make a simple piece of art. Now, obviously this isn't going to be super amazing art or anything like that but you can make some decent looking art uh just with some of those supplies and it's just something fun to do especially if you can't kind of get out or you can't afford to you know spend a lot of money right now because of kind of the current state of the world um then this is just an easy way to make some simple paintings i'm actually gonna if i have enough supplies i'll show you two different paintings you can make if i run out of supplies i do have some extra uh, acrylic paint that i'm going to show you so what i'm going to do is we'll switch over uh down to the table i apologize for all the tools in the background a little bit different background today but uh, i'm going to switch over to the table and i'll talk about what i bought at the store for less than 20 dollars uh, at walmart so some really cheap art supplies that you can get again less than 20 dollars and, and make uh make some abstract art you know and, and maybe some of this extra spare time you have so let's head over and um we'll talk about that and get started okay so here's the supplies that I got. Um, I ended up getting uh, some canvas panels. It was like a three pack for, I think it was like five bucks or seven bucks or something like that. Uh, so, you know, like let's say it was $7 for that. And then we've got a brush that was like $2. So that puts us around 10 with tax. Uh, these were just over a dollar, so $11. And then each of these were less than two, so about $8. So roughly $20 for everything. And like I said, we're going to try to do a uh, scrape paint with all these tools. Um, we're going to paint the background a certain color, and then we're going to scrape the rest. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open. We'll, uh, we'll use one of these palette knives here. And we're going to crack this open. Pull it apart. And make ourselves a scrape paint. So again, if I have enough uh, acrylic art or acrylic paint left over, uh, we'll go ahead and make a, another simple painting that I have a, an idea for. And if we don't, then I have some spare acrylic. So maybe we'll get two paintings in today. All right, so let's go ahead and start with um, our background. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and paint the background the yellow. So I've got this acrylic and never, I don't think I've ever, <laughs> use this brand, seen it, anything. I don't buy supplies from Walmart, so I don't know how good it is. Assuming that it's from a department store as opposed to a craft store, I'm gonna assume just based on the fact that I got it at Walmart as opposed to a craft store, quality's probably not that great, but I wanna judge it. Again, uh, I've never used it. So we've got our brush. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and paint our background. So we're gonna go ahead and put the yellow on. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll spray it uh, with a little bit of water to really kind of uh, thin it out and get some good coverage, but I don't know if we're gonna do that. So we'll go ahead and put our uh, paint down there. It looks like we've already got bristles coming out of this brush. I guess that's what you get for a $2 brush. Um, and it picked up something from the table. So we already got some dirt on there. Great, great. All right, let's just go ahead and get our base layer on there. Pull it down to the edges. All right, and we'll pull this up, push it out, kind of pull this out to the edges. And it looks like, I don't know how we picked up some other color. I haven't even opened any other colors and I haven't painted in a few days. So not really sure how, uh, how I have more than one color on here, to be honest with you. All right, so we're gonna pull that out and it picked up some more dirt. Not ideal, but I guess we'll be okay. And pull that up here. Pull that up to the edges. All right, 
and good. This way we have our tone background and if we miss any of the painting while we're scraping it, then uh, we've got at least a tone background. All right, so I'm gonna put this bad boy in water so it can soak. I actually need to clean my little brush thing out. And I'm gonna set aside <clears throat> another brush for the next painting, just in case we do another one. And I'll actually grab another brush just in case. All right, it's a big brush, but we'll be okay. Okay, so now we've got our background. Let's go ahead and begin with the scrape. So we're gonna go ahead and we're, I wanted to try something. So there's kind of an experiment I've been wanting to do where it's almost like a one pass type uh, scraped painting. Now I don't know how this is gonna go. I figure if I'm gonna try it, it may as well be with some cheaper paint so I'm not wasting a bunch of good paint. And if it doesn't turn out right, that's fine. Um, but I've really kind of wanted to try it. And so what it is, is doing almost like a one pass uh, scrape painting. So how that would look is we would have our, I would put all three colors on there at once and just slowly kind of pull all of those colors over at one time and just, just call it a day. So not doing three separate layers um, of those colors, but doing one solid pass. So what this would look like is we would actually just put the first uh, color on the end. So we'll put it right next to the end. Okay. And then we will put our next color next to it. So the first one that we have is kind of like a red oxide. Uh, this one is like a, like a goldenrod kind of color. Almost like a beige or something. Um, and then we'll do like our red here next to it. So this is kind of like a neon red almost. <laughs> All the colors remind me of condiments. So it's like we've got mustard and then ketchup and then spicy mustard and chilies. I don't, I don't really know. And that's it. So now we're going to take our little scraper and we're going to push it to the side, all the way to the edge, so that the edge is covered. And then we're gonna drag it across. All right, so it looks like those other colors do kind of get swallowed up. And I wasn't sure what would happen if we did this, so I'm gonna not push as heavily and see if we can pull some of these colors through. Okay, so not pushing as heavily, we do pull some of those other colors through and we get a little bit further with the coverage. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, and do these three layers and then I'm gonna do the other two colors again. So I won't do the dark red. All right, so if I push down a little flatter, if I really flatten this thing almost all the way down, we do kind of get some better coverage there. There we go. So let's go back and let's do that again. Okay, and again. Now the only issue we're running into is these little blobs, I guess. All right, so with some other colors, this might actually not be so bad. Um, this would actually probably be kind of a cool piece, but there's not a lot of variation in it. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and go over it again with the, uh, the gold and then we'll kind of see where that gets us. So we're gonna put another layer of the goldenrod onto the canvas panel. And we're gonna see what that gets us. And I'm really pushing this paint into the previous layer. The 
spatula is like almost flat to the surface. And we actually get a really nice blend. So that's actually not too bad. So we're gonna do it again. And we are gonna kind of cover this area we already covered. We're gonna push it down straight across. Okay. Okay, and so we actually, it's not too bad. Um, the only issue that we have here is that this drywall scraper obviously is kind of leaving lines here. Um, there's not really a way to fix it because if we kind of go over it again, it's just going to create more lines just in another way. Although you could kind of use it to create almost an aesthetic to it. So we're gonna pull it through and just kind of create some some lines. And I'm just barely dragging it across. I'm not putting like any pressure whatsoever. And that actually flattens it out and kind of gives it a little bit of character. So we're gonna call that one good because if I go over with the, the deep red, I have a feeling it's not gonna make it much better. I suppose we could just to kind of see. Um, but this is why generally when I do the scrape paintings, I try to use a tool that's at least half of it because then I can kind of go over it and it doesn't overlap too much. I don't know, maybe we can go over it again and it's, uh, I guess it can't get any worse. Uh, so I actually have a, another scraper here. So we'll pretend that I didn't just put my other one in water. Um, you know what, let's just go for broke. We're gonna go ahead and do another layer. We'll do the red here, this, uh, this bright red. And we'll pull it through and see what happens. Again, it probably can't really get any worse, so. All right, so now we'll just kind of pull this across lightly to flatten those layers. And done. All right, so I'm gonna put that one in water again. All right, so I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it. <clears throat> ultimately not a terrible piece I mean if the colors were better it would probably be a lot more appealing um but I mean it's I guess it's it's something <laughs> um it's an easy way to make art okay and if you have some maybe some different colors it might not have been so bad colors are a lot you know colors make a huge difference in creating a piece so you know, ultimately not uh, not the worst thing I've ever seen, sadly enough. So I'm gonna put that aside and we're gonna leave it alone. And we're gonna go ahead and, and open another one. Actually, I think I have, I think this one is kind of already open. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a very easy way to make some kind of modern looking art. And it looks like I just set it in some paint. Of course I did, why not? Um, so I'm going to show you how you can make some very simple abstract art, um, and kind of like really modern, I guess. So what we're going to use is we'll go ahead and do, uh, let's see, do we want to use this color, yellow and red. I'm wondering what these two colors would look like together. It'd probably be like more of an orange. Um, 
let's just go ahead and do this. So we're going to do basically part of the painting one color, part of it another color, and then we're going to scrape another color across, okay? So let's go ahead and do uh, the, this lighter red on top, and then we're going to do about two thirds or so of the lighter red, and then the bottom will be kind of the darker red, okay? And we're going to do it kind of in thirds, uh, but not exactly. So I've got another brush here. I thought there it is. Okay, so we've got it. So let's go ahead and kind of establish um, where this painting will end. So we're going to bring all the paint down to the bottom and fill in the bottom. Oh, this paint smells terrible. Okay. So we'll probably go to like right here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna make it perfect, but we do wanna kinda like establish uh, like a line where the paint will kinda go. Now you could just make a, a super simple painting that's just two layers uh, with brush strokes. I've seen people kind of do that where they just, the painting was just like brush strokes of one color on top and brush strokes of another color on bottom. And that was literally the whole painting. But that's not, that's not exactly what we're gonna do. Um, so once we've got it kind of lined up, it doesn't have to be even. In fact, kind of the unevenness is part of the aesthetic for this piece. Um, we're gonna leave it. And we've got quite a bit of paint here. I actually kind of want a design. So I'm gonna take the brush and go over the, the paint kind of randomly because with so much extra acrylic on here, uh, it's going to make little design marks. And so even though you can't really see it at home probably, um, up close the painting will have these little brush marks um, in it and it's gonna make like a little design. So I kind of want to build that into the piece. So we're good there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to leave this brush here for now. I don't think I'll need it again, but just in case. So I'm actually going to put some more uh, paint on here for this. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to bring this paint up to the top. And it actually picked up a little bit of that coloring. I think I touched the edge right there and it had some paint, but that's okay. We're gonna blend it in and just use it anyway. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring our paint down and we're gonna make sure that we get all the top pretty much done. Oh, I really touched it. Um, we're gonna bring all this paint down. And there's a little dot in there. I don't know what that is. I think it's just dried paint. Um, get off of me. Um, we're gonna bring all this paint down. Man, this thing has a lot of uh, dried paint in it. I might actually need a little bit more. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. And look, we're not going for super complex paintings here. We're going for paintings that anyone can really make and they're really simple. And just having fun, just, just finding something to do, especially with all this stuff going on right now. Now, you could do one of two things. You could just bring it to the edge here and leave a gap, because what we're gonna do is scrape paint over this, so it doesn't really matter if there's a gap, or you could uh, bring it all the way down to the other paint. You could overlap it just a little bit. It's really your call. And we're gonna go ahead and use probably all of this paint here. We're gonna bring it down. And we're gonna start meeting it at the other paint. So. If 
Okay, so now that we've already kind of reached it, what we're gonna do is just kind of blend these colors, that's fine. And that's it. So there's a couple of things you could do here. You could leave the painting as is. Here, I'm going to show you guys real quick. So you could leave the painting as is. It's kind of a nice modern painting, right? You've got the two different colors. You've kind of got a blended middle, so it kind of brings them together. Very, very simple painting. There are artists who do this kind of painting as, as the finished piece. And, you know, you definitely could. There's also another thing you could do where you bring this, um, where you kind of scrape uh, across it and, and kind of fill it with one color. So I kind of wanted to show you this, see if you get an idea for colors, you could do kind of a simplified painting like this, or you could do what I was talking about. So what I'm, I need to do is actually dry this before I go over it because it will scrape the other colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get my heat gun and I'm going to dry this and then we're going to scrape the colors after it dries. Okay, I'm hoping that's dry enough. I don't actually know. <clears throat> now, there's a couple of ways you could kind of do this, and now it smells like plastic in here. Um, you could scrape the design kind of like this, right? Or you could just scrape it kind of simply across like that. And I wonder if I have a, a thicker or wider uh, I do. I have a wider um, trowel. So we're going to use that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it straight across. And we're going to put the paint on our trowel. Okay. And then we're going to just lightly drag it across the painting to kind of create a little design across. All right. So we've got our paint on there. And so we're going to drag this bad boy across it. And we're, we'll go over it one more time. Let's see if we can get a little bit better coverage. And that's it. That's the whole painting. Now you could just take some of this paint and kind of come back to this side and line it up to bring it off the edge to kind of bring it back this way a little bit and just kind of pull it all the way. And that's it folks, that's the whole painting. Super simple painting. It looks kind of cool actually. I, I, I'm not 100% thrilled about the colors However, this is the kind of thing that people buy, to believe it or not. Um, now, you probably want to use some better colors, maybe some better acrylics for sure. Um, but folks, this is, this is a simple painting. This is the kind of stuff I see on Etsy, okay? Now again, they probably use better, <laughs> they use canvas, um, not canvas panel, and they use better acrylics and stuff like that. But, to be honest, if you were going to like create art and hang this in your own home, this is the kind of stuff that people actually really enjoy and they buy and stuff like that. So uh, let me give you guys a close up. Now the scrape one, I'm gonna say the, the scrape one's not that great. Um, again, not the worst I've ever seen, however. 
uh, I would personally buy that one because it's just a mess. The colors aren't good on it. Now, again, colors make a huge difference, but also the technique because let's, this is, you know, that piece and it's kind of bad lighting, but it's kind of an ugly piece, right? But this actually isn't that bad. Like 100%, maybe some better colors, higher quality pieces or uh, materials, but ultimately not a bad piece. It, 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 I actually don't hate it. So my point is, is that you can make cool looking art with cheap materials. I mean, we did this, okay, yes, I used a couple more trowels than I actually bought, but that's another couple dollars, right? So about $20, $25, and you can make some decent looking art with stuff that you can get from hardware stores or department stores or, or whatever, right? So my point is, is that, you know, the quality of the piece may not be as great, but you can still make it look pretty decent. You can have some decent looking art. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really wanted to kind of make something like this for a while. So I'm glad I was able to make this for you guys. But I will catch you guys in another video. Take care. God bless. See you then. Stay safe and all that cool stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.